Welcome to the journey where we will be talking about some experiences that I have gone through and trying to uh, understand it through the Bible because I have also personally have gone through uh, uh, quite a few challenges in my life. So during that those challenges, I was trying to understand what was the heart of God, what was the Holy Spirit trying to do, tell me in order to align myself in the proper way according to the Bible in order to come out of the challenges. Yes, prayer is important. Yes, that we need to fast and pray as well. But to understand what the word of the Lord says and what the Lord, word of the Lord tells us and what it means in our lives in order to align ourselves properly is very important while we do all of the rest of the work with regards to coming out of a challenge. So today, I'm going to take you through uh, a revelation which the Lord Jesus or the Holy Spirit imparted to me while I was seeking some answers to my challenges. So I will take you through Exodus 23, 20 and let's just uh, briefly read what the word of the Lord says. Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Do not provoke him for he will not pardon your transgressions for my name is in him so when i read this particular message i asked the lord what is this way that the lord is talking and who is this angel of course we know that angels starting with the capital a in the old testament we could refer uh, the, the reference to lord jesus but what is this way so when the israelites uh, fled or when they were not i would say fled they were taken out of egypt the Lord prepared a certain way for them to travel on the Exodus, on the whole journey. And the way represents here when the Holy Spirit revealed to me is the way of our Lord Jesus. Because back in the past, soon after our Jesus was, our Lord was crucified, the movement was also called the way. And the way has been depicted here in Exodus as the way of our Lord Jesus Christ, which the Israelites physically traveled in the wilderness. Because the way represents here the journey that the Israelites took in their exodus. And in that journey, they faced many challenges and the Lord tested them. And similarly, in our journey as well with the Lord in the spiritual realm right now, what happened physically in the Israelites to the Israelites is equally uh, representative of what we are going through right now in our spiritual realm. So spiritually, it's what we are going through right now in our journey to perfection in Lord Jesus, in Christ Jesus, is what exactly what we can have an emulation of that with the exodus of what the Israelites went through. So here the Lord exhorts uh, the Israelites saying that I'm sending an angel before to keep you in the way. So the angel we know perfectly well, that is our Lord Jesus, reference to our Christ. And we need our Lord Jesus to keep us in the way. So many of people right now, when we face challenges, when we go through certain tribulations in life, we tend to go for the material answers. Our way of, our choice of our way is first the material, then the spiritual. We do not go to the spiritual realm to seek answers from the Lord, then manifest that uh, answer which the Lord gives in the material, but we take the other way around. But here the Lord says, I am sending you the angel, an angel before you to keep you in the way. So when I asked the Lord about my own tribulations and challenges when I was going through it, Lord, Lord Jesus is already with me. So how could he show me the way? In what manner, mannerism, would he show me the way? Is it that an audible voice that I would hear? Is it uh, that in a sight or in a dream that I would hear our Lord Jesus? Or see our Lord Jesus giving me a map, just like of a treasure hunt, that I would find a solution to the material challenges that I face in my day-to-day -day life. But the Lord revealed to me in a very astounding manner to say, hear him, hear him. And we see that when Lord Jesus was transfigured, in, in, uh, along with uh, Moses and Elijah, when Peter jumped up and said, let us make a tabernacles for you. 
father himself lord the father himself came and said hear my beloved son because it's very important in the way to identify and to get ourselves tuned into the voice of our lord because in exodus as we move on the the rest of the verses also expound that if you obey his voice first be aware of it understand that our lord jesus jesus is with him with us to so understand that he is with us all the time he shall never leave us no forsake us lord will never leave us until the plans that he has are fulfilled in our lives so be aware of him first of all the sheer understanding that we are not alone as the bible keeps on saying is very important second obey his voice so to obey his voice we need to understand who's talking who's speaking to us who's exhorting us who's giving us the advice who's giving us or nudging us on our shoulders saying okay son this is the path to go and to insult and do not provoke him so this provocation i asked the lord okay uh, how can we provoke our lord jesus when lord jesus was walking on on the, on the, on on earth many people provoked him many, many people made him angry of course he was angry because of the Uh, the constitution he was angry because of the word of the lord and people were not keeping it but here the provocation that we can go against the lord is provoking or blasphemy against the holy spirit because it's the holy spirit in us as the lord jesus said i'm sending you a helper the holy spirit in us that help us in order to go on our way on our journey through the word of our lord jesus the direction the nudging is given by our holy spirit and bible is very clear about it in exodus 23 21 do not provoke him because it says in 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 the bible in mark 3:28 let's just read what a provocation against the holy spirit is all about assuredly i say to you all sins will be forgiven the sons of men and whatever blasphemies they may utter but he who blasphemes against the holy spirit never has forgiveness but is subject to eternal condemnation exactly there you go so it's the provocation against the holy spirit when we make our holy spirit angry how does the holy spirit is very it's a very gentle he bears all our tribulations he bears all our blames and all that it is fine but at one point in our challenges many would have faced it i myself faced it. I just lifted up my eyes and said to the heaven and said Lord I don't want you Lord how is it that you are taking me through such trouble whereas that you uh, promised me a life of a hunky dory life a life which is flowing with milk and honey but where I am when I when I on the journey I face all these tribulations but did the lord tell you that when you accept lord jesus that your life is going to be a very uh, primrose path or is it going to be a life full of milk and honey yes it is it is a very beautiful experience to walk with the lord as long as that we hear his voice as long as we do not provoke him and lord does not say that we will not face challenges now the lord could have easily taken the israelites from the red sea and shifted them supernaturally with his he's able to do it he's omniscient he's omni potent and he's omnipresent and he has all the power of the universe he can he could have shifted this group of people straight onto the other side of the land of flowing with milk and honey similarly i asked the same question from the lord lord when i face this challenge a life threatening challenge something that which is excruciatingly painful very difficult for me to digest very difficult for me to talk to a person and even relieve my mind very personal deep uh, challenges I would have I have asked the Lord many times say Lord in your supernatural power the holy spirit is in me the word of the lord is with me I read the bible morning to evening I know your law I know your precepts and lord Jesus said that if you accept me that if you invite both the lord Jesus the father and the holy spirit all three of you come and reside in me so if all three of you reside in my body why can't you supernaturally shift me away from this trouble I often have gone to sleep thinking okay lord tomorrow morning you have shifted me into a different dimension physical that i will see my room 
the colors of my walls differently because it has supernaturally shifted me to a different dimension and away from all the trouble, away from all the consternations and the trouble that I have had in my mind on the previous night. But it doesn't happen like that. And I often woke up disappointed because I was looking at the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit, of the Lord, to shift me from the trouble. No, it doesn't work. He would have easily done it for his children, his chosen generation, the Israelites, when they started their journey from the Red Sea to the Promised Land. He did not shift them. As we read the rest of the story, let's continue. But if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. For my angel will go before you and bring you into the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Hivites and the Jebusites and I will cut them off. So there you go. Did the Lord take his beloved children, his choice people, supernaturally away from the confronting these people? No. The Lord did a marvelous thing here. He said, I'm giving you the strength as well as I'm also empowering my angel who would go before you. As you go before you, the angel will go before you and bring you to the Amorites and the Hittites, the Perizzites and the Canaanites, the Hevites, the Jebusites, and he will cut them off. So in our, in our journey, we cannot avoid our confrontations with this Amorites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Jebusites, the Gilgashites, and all these sites. All these sites have an impact in our lives. So we cannot actually avoid these. But the strength and the confidence and the promise that we have, that we need to extract from this Bible, from the Word, is that we have our Lord Jesus as an angel who goes before us when we go and confront these people or confront these challenges. So that's the, the starting point of our confidence, building our confidence. When I asked the Lord about my challenges, He said, this is your starting point. First of all, understand, be aware of Him, as we read in the previous chapter. Be aware of Him. Understand that He will go before you. That means in front of me He will go. But He will not lift you up completely to the other side in a supernatural way. But he will allow and he will strengthen you, enable you, make, make you a warrior to fight through all these Hevites, the Amorites, the Jebusites, the Parasites and the Canaanites. So it's very important to understand, number one, that for us to be aware that whenever that we face trouble, whenever that we confront certain challenges, that there is a greater power than those troubles, who is greater than anything else, who is the creator of this whole universe, is with us, is in us, and he talks to us. We need to talk to him. We talk to our friends sometimes uh, when we when we face physical ailments. We talk to the doctors. We rely on the medical uh, equipment. We rely on medicine. We talk to even sometimes a psychiatrist. I'm not saying that they are bad. Of course. The Lord has enabled and appointed them for a certain reason. Yes, they are needed. But more than anything else, the Lord who made the creator of this whole universe is with us. Why don't we talk to him? Why don't you hear his voice? Why don't we obey his voice? Instead, we blame the Lord most of the time. Lord, if you are so powerful, why did you allow this to happen? That is our attitude. So number one, Lord gives us a certain warning in Exodus 23, 22, in the beginning of the verse itself that we read. If you provoke him, and if you do not listen to his voice, you will not be pardoned. It's a very strict command. It's a very strict command. I think Jesus would have toned it down a little bit in, in the New Testament, saying, obey my voice, do not be afraid. But if you read Exodus 23, as we've been through, if you provoke him, and if you do not listen to him, the repercussions are more dire. So why is it that the repercussions are more dire for the people, those who do not listen to him and provoke him? In Proverbs 15.10, let's read. 
what happens to those who do not listen to him and provoke him harsh discipline is for him for who forsakes the way and he who hates correction will die there you go harsh discipline is for him who forsakes the way the way that we discussed about the journey whom the lord has chosen to go on the journey with him actually my brothers and sisters it's very important for us to be so thankful to the lord just like the israelites he has chosen you and me to come along this journey lord jesus says unless the father has given me these people nobody can give i wouldn't take care of the flock or sheep that the father hasn't given so you and i as we are talking we are alive we are taking our breath we enjoy our lives because of the lord jesus and we are on this journey we should be really really happy and content and be satisfied and more than that be glad that he has chosen us on this journey but that is not without any repercussions and which we sway to and fro in the journey if we jump uh to and fro and away from the journey the lord he says harsh discipline is for him who forsakes the way so the way is our lord jesus as we said as we as you read john 14:6 i am the way and if lord jesus if we do not align with him and do not uh align ourselves to be on track with the holy spirit of his gentle nudges and through the word it will be a harsh discipline for us so we bring on our own on ourselves this harsh discipline and the punishment from the lord it's not saying i'm not saying the lord punishes us he is a ever loving god he doesn't punish us but he is a father of his word the father who corrects his children the father who loves us so much that he has called us by name even before the foundation of the earth was laid to go on this journey to perfection to live with him forever so it's very important my dear brothers and sisters i repeat again to understand first that there is a voice there is the holy spirit there is our lord jesus who is with us with us and we need to be conscious or cognizant be aware of it number 2 we need to be tuned into his frequency of his language of his voice what is his voice the word the pure word which the lord jesus has given to us thousands of years ago and the third thing is to keep us ourselves aligned on the way do not grumble yes it's very natural to grumble i myself have grumbled but it's fine it's pardonable but do not blaspheme the holy spirit hurt him because he's our father is very important. so we stopped at the lord jesus the angel going before us and taking us to to confront certain tribes in israel so in our next episode let's uh, delve deep uh, to understand who these tribes are uh, tribes are and what are these challenges that the israelites face until such time stay blessed